Welcome to Imperial CAD system. In this video, we see exploded view command in Unigraphics assembly. We see here we have a assembly, a rectangular block with the three bolts. I want exploded view of this parts. Then select assembly here, assembly option. Here exploded view, select this. And go for new explosion, new explosion, explosion one. You can keep like that or you can name uh, I give some uh, zero one then I go for okay then again I select new explosion again yes I go for zero two two explosions I create two explosion see in exploded view window you can see first explosion second explosion and no explosion in no explosion if you keep no explosion you can see constraints and explosion one I select explosion zero one explosion in this see go for edit explosion in zero one I go for edit explosion select object then select this move object you can explode see if you drag it moves then go for ok again go for edit explosion I select these objects these two objects then I move downwards I have created one explosion then you can also move this plate manually you are moving you are exploding then go for ok then this explosion you can see in zero one if you keep no explosion then you can see assembly view then if you if you select zero one then this is one type of exploding then I select zero two in zero two I go for auto explode then select objects I select one two three then go for ok here you need to give distance how much distance these three objects have to explode then I go for 50 mm then see this is one type of exploding auto exploding at a time it explodes the select uh, at a time the parts which you have selected you exploded to some distance then go for exploded view here 0 1 0 2 is this explosion 0 1 is uh, this exploded view and no explosion like this you can create number of exploded views then 0 1 see this one 0 2 this explosion then here there is a command unexplode component select this select object then if you go for ok that is again assembled exploded view unexplored component I select these two objects then I go for ok then it is uh, assembled again then here there is an option called delete explosion ok I want to delete uh, 0 2 0 2 you can't delete if you want to 0 because uh, right now it is in a 0 to explosion I select no explosion now you can go for delete explosion then you can select 0 to explode 0 1 this is a exploded view no explosion see here in this we have explode toolbar we have hide component hide component select that option and select component then go for ok it is it will be hidden the component will be hidden again if you want to see in explode uh, toolbar itself we can see show component in view then here you can select 6 then if you go for ok that shows then trace lines this is used in drafting see I select exploded view I want this exploded view in drafting then uh, you have to save this view see go to part navigator select model views see 
here by default you you, you can see back uh, bottom front isometric uh, then this is exploded view right click go for add view then I write explode then explode is in work now working view is explode then what I do is I go to drafting drafting if you want to generate exploded view in drafting then say select base view or else you can also select a base view in the drafting here also you have base view you can select base view the same window appears here if you open then see top front right back bottom along with explode view select that then you can see exploded view in drafting like this you have to create exploded view in drafting I go for assembly now in assemblies you can see exploded view here you have trace line select trace line see this bolt we have moved this bolt uh, this bolt uh, belongs to this hole so that you can go for trace line select this center and select this center see trace line appears then go to drafting update right click on the border select update see friends here you can also see the trace lines okay when we explode the position may not be in a proper way so that it traces this center to this center I go to modeling assembly then if you don't want to explode then select no explosion option by default will be in explode toolbar select that in this way we use explode we explode the assembly components in unique graphics thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe to our channel